Hi everybody, it's Chef Nicole back for another Wednesday night cooking demo with you. Tonight I'm going to be sharing with you one that I am pulling out that I haven't made for a really long time, but it is such a fun recipe. I thought that I would share it with you guys. So I have uh, a great piece of steak that I picked up at the market from Pressman Meats. I just picked up one big giant steak here. I'm probably gonna have to cut this in half so that it fits into my cast iron skillet. But this is a sirloin tip, guys. So it's pretty lean. So I'm gonna make sure that I only cook this to a medium rare, which is how I like my steak anyways. Um, definitely want to do this here just for tenderness. So I am going to just give my hands a quick wash before I season up my steak. I'm keeping it really, really simple today, guys. I am just going to be doing it with salt and pepper because I've made a really delicious barbecue sauce. And so I wanna be able to um, just keep the flavor of the steak coming through and the barbecue sauce as well. So I'm just gonna be seasoning this up. Behind me, I have a cast iron skillet heating up. You could certainly do this on the grill. I usually do cook this one outside, but tonight I'm just keeping it indoors and uh, gonna do it in the oven. And you're gonna get to see a family style cheese steak sandwich. So I am making a giant sandwich that is going to feed four to six people, depending on the age of your um, family. This is gonna be kind of served alongside a few other things here at my house. Um, but depend when my kids were smaller, this would be our entire dinner. All right, so I'm just gonna season the other side and then I'm gonna head over and get it in the skillet. Because I've preheated it, um, it's, you're gonna have to get a nice sizzle, which is what you're looking for. And then you wanna just uh, be patient, guys. Um, you don't wanna move your steak around a lot. You wanna get a nice, good sear on there, get some good color. Color is flavor in the kitchen. So you wanna get a nice, good crust on the outside of that steak before I pop it into the oven and uh, it's not gonna take very long in there to cook. So I'm just gonna head over to the stove top and uh, I'll see you over there. Uh, you can hear that gorgeous sizzle, guys. It's what you always wanna hear as your meat is hitting the pan. I did not add any oil or anything into this. I'm gonna let it cook on this side until it naturally releases from the pan. While this cooks, I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna go in um, to our sandwich as well. But uh, I'll show you this, what it looks like when I flip it over. And we are ready to flip. It's only been about two minutes per for that side. It's gonna be a very short time on this side as well. I am just gonna pop it into a hot oven just so it cooks through to the, the doneness that I'm looking for. But look at that beautiful color, guys. This is gonna be so good. I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Next up, I have some peppers and one onion and I have two kinds of cheese. Again, the cheese came from fast um, cheese at the Kitchener Market. I have here a jalapeno um, cheddar and a Monterey Jack. And so I am gonna be putting both of these onto my sandwich. But for a little bit of vegetables so that we don't feel guilty about the fact that we're just eating this super um, meaty, cheesy sandwich. We're gonna put a hint of vegetables in there so everybody is happy. I'm just gonna do a really quick little chop on my onions. Normally I would caramelize these, but my family actually prefers raw onion. I'm really the only one who fusses about all the onions being cooked. Um, so today, because I am gonna put the sandwich in the oven to heat everything through, I am going to go ahead and Put these in raw. So I'm just peeling off the first couple of layers and I am just going to be cook, cutting these into rings and then that's how they're going to go into the sandwich. So guys the Kitchener Market is open every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. for your fruits and veggie needs, for meats, cheeses, all that good stuff. So if you haven't been out yet, you can um, check out their information of what's in season, their safety protocols they have in place right now, um, all on the kitchenmarket.ca website. 
and uh, you are going to be able to get a list of vendors there of who you can go and visit to get so many awesome products. I have been having a great time um, chatting with the vendors and just uh, picking up my products every single week and uh, utilizing them in not only my videos I do with you guys, but in my weekly meals at home as well. Um, I picked up some beautiful cheese curds there a little while ago and uh, they got devoured so quick. Every time I went in the fridge, I think the bag was a little more empty than it had been before. And everyone has just really, really been enjoying that. Um, blueberries are in season right now. Corn, oh my goodness, corn on the cob, guys. If you have not had a chance to have some um, corn yet, make sure that you do. It is just delicious. So I'm just uh, cutting these into thin slices. I just don't want to, them all to pull out in one bite. You know when you get a, a bacon burger or something like that and it's a big piece of bacon and you take one bite and the whole bacon comes out? Sometimes that can happen with um, your peppers or your um, lettuce sometimes. So I try to cut them fairly small so that they uh, that they stay in the sandwich while we're eating it. So it looks like I might actually have enough green peppers here just with the one. So I'm just gonna chop that off. My timer is just about to go off on my steak. I'm gonna be using my meat thermometer to check the temperature on that. I'm looking for about 140 or so um, on the meat thermometer. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna let it rest for a few minutes. I'm looking for about 145 um, with the carryover cooking. So I'm just gonna take it out of the oven and let it rest and then I'm gonna slice it for my sandwich. And uh, guys, you can always find resources on the Healthy Canadians website. It has some really great resources for your meat cookery. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about safe cooking temperatures or anything like that, you can find that at the Healthy Canadians site. They have a chart there that lets you know um, what your proper temperatures are for the, your different cuts of meat. So if maybe you're trying a new recipe with something you picked up at the Kitchener Market, that's gonna help you make sure that you cook it just right. There's my timer, so I'm gonna go pull my steaks out of the oven, give them for a regular sized bun, and then I'm going to build my steak sandwich. I'm actually not gonna cut all the way through the end. I'm gonna pull it open. We'll see if I can do it without. Uh... Okay, there we go. All right, so first layer is gonna be is some cheese. And when I say some cheese, I mean a lot of cheese, like a serious amount of cheese. Here we go. So there is the moderate jack that we have. I'm gonna put that on there. And then I'm gonna top it with my vegetables. Put them in there. Yeah, I think that was just the perfect amount of vegetables to have for my sandwich. And then I've already sliced one of the steaks, so I'm gonna add that one on now. And then I'm gonna show you guys how you wanna be slicing your steak across the grain to make sure that it's nice and tender. So my steak was out of the oven for just about five minutes resting on the cutting board. And you can see it's still nice and pink and tender. It is just gorgeous. I'm gonna put my sandwich on aluminum foil so nothing, if it falls out, it still stays inside the package. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to slice the rest um, in just a second. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Sorry for the crinkle, guys. It's gonna be a little bit noisy for just a second. And get this underneath it here. Just so I don't lose, lose any of this deliciousness. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the rest of the steak. So as you can see, I also am changing out my cutting boards. I do have cutting boards that I prefer to use for meat and then the ones that I prefer to use for my vegetables. So here you can see I'm gonna cut up the steak, so against the grain. I'm also gonna cut it on the bias, it's called. That means that it's gonna allow you to expose the most amount of that juicy pink inside of the steak by cutting it this way. It's gonna give a nice open, um, surface area 
cut it nice and thin, guys. Remember, this is for a sandwich, so I do want it nice and thin. And then I'm gonna just pile this onto the sandwich. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about five minutes or so. Just let all that cheese melt. And once the cheese is melted, it is gonna get sliced up into some pieces on a platter. And that is how dinner is gonna get served up tonight. This is a super fun, easy one to do with the kids. Or if you're playing in the backyard, um, just enjoying some relaxation time, you can do this and uh, throw it on the barbecue and then you can uh, make a really quick, easy dinner. Let's be honest guys, summer is a short season. We wanna make the most of the time that we have. So this is a great recipe that uh, has your veggies and a great protein and uh, in and out of the meal prep really fast. I'm gonna load this onto the sandwich and wrap it up and pop it into the oven. Then I have one final thing to show you guys which is how to make our really simple uh, pickled red onion. Before I close up the foil package, I just thought I would finish showing you how it all um, fits in here. That was uh, three, well you saw it at the beginning, one great big steak that I cut into three. And uh, now I've got the rest of my Monterey Jack cheese going on there and a little bit of my jalapeno cheddar for a little bit of kick. And then I am going to close this up, wrap it in foil. Now, doesn't that look like a great, a giant, awesome sandwich right there? Fantastic. I'm going to get this wrapped up and into the oven. And like I said, I'm going to now the pickled red onions. I'm doing a really quick pickle on this. Um, I'm going to let it cool. I'm actually just thinking this might not quite make it onto my sandwich tonight. Maybe if there's any leftovers for tomorrow, because you actually do want to let it set for a day, um, even a little bit longer, uh, just to let the red onion um, really get a nice pickle on it. So I'm just going to slice up my red pep red pepper, my red onion into rings and get them into my mason jar that I have. And actually, before I finish this up, what I'll probably do is get my water on the stove. So what I'm looking for is two parts water to one part vinegar and sugar is gonna go in here too, just a couple tablespoons. And uh, I'm just gonna bring this on the stove up to a boil with my water. My vinegar is going in here my sugar and then I'm just gonna get this onto the stove top bubbling up I'm gonna finish slicing my onions and uh, get it into the mason jar in just a second I've sliced up my red onion and I'm just starting to load them into my mason jar when you're doing this guys because you are pouring hot liquid you do want to make sure that you're using a jar that is safe to add um, hot liquid to you can let it cool down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be adding this in very carefully. You wanna make sure that they're all covered. And then I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes to a half hour till it cools down. And then I'm gonna put a lid on it and I can pop it into the fridge then. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this off to the side. I think that my other ingredients uh, are probably, well, my steak sandwich is probably ready to come out of the oven. I'm gonna show you guys how to plate it up. I have here a fantastic barbecue sauce that, um, that I've made. The recipe will be up online and uh, you'll be able to get this recipe to make it as well. Or you can always add your favorite barbecue sauce, whatever you really like. I'm just gonna serve that on the side along with the sandwich so people can add as much or as little as they want for their um, particular piece of the sandwich. And uh, also online with the recipes, it's gonna have a list of the vendors um, that I've shown in this recipe and as well as the products um, that I've specifically used. So if you wanna recreate this recipe at home, you'll know who to see at the Kitchener Market uh, to pick up your ingredients and uh, bring them home and uh, make this recipe. I'm gonna pull my stuff out of the oven, show you how it plates up. The cheese is ooey and gooey and the steak is awesome. Guys, it wasn't working in the tin foil as quickly as I would like. 
So I just took it apart. I just cut it the rest of the way through, put it on the, under the broiler for literally like 35, 45 seconds. Um, just to get the cheese melted the rest of the way. And then I'm just gonna put this back on top. You know, improvising in the kitchen, it's just how it goes. If things aren't going the way you want and you start it with a plan, you know, that's okay. It, recipes are great as like building blocks to creating what you are looking for in the kitchen. So if a recipe isn't going exactly how you'd like it to go, you can always make little changes so you get the result that you're looking for. So for me today, I didn't want my steak to end up overcooked. So I made the choice to just put it under the broiler, get that cheese melted, and then I'm gonna be able to cut it up, plate it up, and then serve it to my family for dinner. My cheese, I normally would take this off of the tin foil, but my cheese was sticking, so it was not coming off. I am just going to separate this out here. Oh, you can see the cheese is stretching. And so this is gonna be like a serving, guys. So this is gonna go to one of my hungry teenage boys for their dinner. I'm just gonna continue cutting this up. I'll put up a picture online of what the platter um, all looks like so you can know some of the ways that you can serve it up. But for me, that's gonna be it for me for tonight, guys. Again, Chef Nicole here on behalf of the Kitchener Market. So excited to be sharing these recipes with you and helping you to find um, the vendors at the Kitchener Market for all of your fantastic products that you're gonna be looking for. Food Hall is open on Saturdays for takeout right now. So exciting, guys. I've been there the last two weeks and been so excited to get um, some of my favorite foods up in Food Hall. So be sure to head up there on Saturday during market hours and get your favorite snack. I know they'll be so excited to see you. I hope to see you guys there really soon. Have a fantastic night.